If you are in a city where things happen all over the place, then it, it makes the city more vibrant. If you have only one use, the area becomes dull because then only one type of people will move in. It's everything. I mean, a building um, has on one hand to fulfill what we have to do. I mean, if it's a residential area, you want to live in there properly. But on the other hand, you also have to create a pleasant environment so that the building fits in the urban scale and so that people walking by enjoy it. It is a long battle. You have to go through all kinds of things to make the price right, to have the structure fitting, to have the functions working, to have it look right, to have the client satisfied. You have to mix all these things together to create a building. Like if I design a building, I maybe do 20 different designs and try to find out which one fulfills these particular conditions the best way. You always have to reach forward and think of what can be done. I hope that, that we can learn to look more at the integration of all these things, that we just don't build buildings to make them cheap and economical and practical, but that we also make them beautiful. She was a marvelous woman and had great insight into things. And so that today, 50 years later, uh, her books are still important and full of wisdom for us. I've read her before I met her and that changed my life because I suddenly realized that the city wasn't just an artistic element but that it was full of life and that you had to understand it before you could work within it. Jane Jacob was a very close friend of mine uh, and it was really through me that she came to Toronto because her husband was an architect. He accepted the job working with me on McMaster and then his wife came and I was told that she was a tough lady and when she came I realized she was a wonderful sweet lady and she was a grandmother really to my daughters and she was very very reasonable but don't fight with her. <laughs> she was not only about city planning, she dealt with everything. And because she also realized that city planning wasn't stopped there, that it expanded in our life. And so that you couldn't understand city planning if you didn't also understand money, if you didn't understand really everything because everything floats together in the city and develops the city. I will only leave a small part, like many other architects have left pieces and it all together will make the city. But I hope I have added not only to healthcare, but to the downtown life, to residential life, and try to fit it in better. That's a good question. It's like a mother asking her which one of her children she likes best. <laughs> <laughs> and she won't answer you. 